Reverend Andriette, and this is Point of Power. We are focused on the power of intention. This is like a singular point of power. Ah, look at that. This notion of the power of intention and the way to unlock it through focusing one's attention on it. Here's the thing. Each and every one of us is connected already to the power of intention. I mean, it just is. We are a part of the universe. The universe is formed out of intention. Intention is the order of the universe, if you will. Those are the universal laws. They're intentional in nature, in science. It, there's high intentionality. Humans, my sense is because we have free will, we act just like, well, it doesn't matter how we act because my point here is that each and every one of us is connected to the power of intention. So what that means is everywhere you go, everyone you meet, is affected by you. Your energy, the vibration, you, you are radiating energy. You have a distinct vibration always. There's a vibration when you're angry. There's a vibration when you are enthusiastic about something. There's a vibration when you're frightened. There's a vi any any and every thought and action and feeling has a vibration associated with it and all of that gets mixed up together your thoughts your feelings your um your actions and all of that is a vibratory pattern and we are affecting each other this is how you can leave home with a skip to malu and end up sitting next to some folks and begin feeling sad and start wondering, what am I sad about? There is a vibrational field and you are in it. You are putting out and you are taking in. So you're, you're not only affecting others, but you are being affected by others as well. Here's the thing. As you become aware and intentional about the power of intention, you can, Wayne Dwyer says, almost magically, you'll see yourself creating huge ripples in the energy fields of your, for yourself and for others by your presence and nothing more. Once you, you, at heart and soul, we have set an overarching intention for transformation. So that means that whatever we're up to, we are forever bringing an energetic presence to create an environment that for anyone who is willing to be transformed, anyone who's willing to be healed, anyone who's willing to have a higher vibratory experience, that we create an environment where that can happen. We don't have to do it. We must be intentional about creating the environment and then offering universal truth principles. And I just have to tell you, well, your point of power is that it works. The realization that it absolutely works.